Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode. Today, I am going to meet up with Austin, and we're going to go back into the same area that Jeremy and I were on the last episode. So, hopefully, it's a good day. We know for a fact that there was at least 16 shed bulls in that general area, and we only picked up seven browns. We know there's 32 of them out there, so should be a good day. Some of them might have dropped long before they were in that spot, but I think the majority of them dropped right in that vicinity anyhow. So hopefully we can have a little luck today. We'll keep you posted. It's supposed to finally be a warm one. Every day we go shed hunting, it seems to be like 30 degrees and blowing 40 miles an hour. And the wind's not going away. It's still supposed to be super windy, but it's supposed to be like 75 today. So it's actually a little too hot, but that wind might keep it comfortable. But I'll stop yakking. We'll see you out there. Hopefully we can scoop some browns. Well, just met up with Austin. We're layered up. It's kind of chilly this morning with our Huntworth clothes. Nice thing is they layer good, so shed a layer as it warms up and we'll be good all day. And it is gonna warm up today. We'll probably be in t-shirts later, more than likely, so. But we're gonna go dive in this area. It's kind of the other end of where we picked up seven browns so far, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to break the ice, but either way, it'll be a fun day. A little friendly competition going here, see who finds the first one. <laughs> you can find the first one, I'm gonna find the biggest one. Well, I'm first on the board today. Got the participation trophy, but it's a goofy one. Look at that thing. Old, it's been here a while, but pretty cool. All right, onward. Well, got a new trick up my sleeves today. Let's see if it works. Busted out the 12 by 50s. And I'm gonna do a little more glassing because we're in a more open country. Not at the moment. In the moment, I'm in some really thick stuff. But the plan is to kind of skirt a lot of these canyons and glass across to different flats and whatnot just get a little more magnification and hopefully you pick up some sheds i know austin found a goofy little thing already the walkie talkies let us down charged them all night but i think one of them got switched from chargeable to triple a's so it wasn't actually charging oops cell serv service is garbage but we have a couple little game plans we made, so we'll meet back up eventually here. But hopefully we can get on the board here pretty soon. It's gonna be a beautiful day nonetheless. Any day out here is a good one, even if I don't find a dang thing. Just a little bit better when you pick some up. So we'll keep grinding. My lungs have not been doing so good ever since I got sick two weeks ago. So I'm breathing a lot harder than I should be, but that's all right. Fight through it. Try to find some browns. We'll keep you posted. Decided to creep up to this flat. There's a big water tank up here and I just spotted what looks to be a big brown. There's fresh sign all over. And it definitely looks big. I guess we'll see if it's a fake out or not, but on the board, big old chocolate. Well, I know it's pretty good. It's just a matter of how good. It's getting a little smaller as I get closer, <laughs> but heck, we'll take it. It's a brown and it's definitely not small, but it's not big. It's barely a six. Good start though, about half an hour, 45 minutes in, on the board. Well, here it is, brown number one on the day. 
Two's a little short, his three's big, but good up and comer bull for sure. Can't complain. So we'll keep going. I'm gonna glass this little valley right here before I get too far and go pick up some more. Just meeting back up with Austin. He's right behind me. We got the one so far. In a t-shirt already and it's not even nine o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be a nice day. Nope. I'm just talking crap. What? I'm just talking crap. Are you videoing? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled an Allison. That's okay. <laughs> But we're meeting up, we're gonna make a game plan and keep moving through this country. It's kind of like some big bouldery, south facing bowls and stuff. So maybe find the other side, hopefully find quite a few more. Glassed that thing up from a long ways away. Wasn't for sure if it was a shed or not, but we'll take it. We just gotta find some with a little bit of brown in them. Well, we just met back up. We're just sitting on top of this big hill and we're gonna dive over the top of it and keep moving. We haven't hit like a major pocket yet, but I think it's just a matter of time. There's gotta be more browns around here somewhere, so. We're getting there. We'll find them eventually. Got a few. Yeah. Two old whites and a brown. Yeah, Austin snagged a couple on that last little, when we split up. And we're gonna keep moving and try to make the day epic. Either way, it's fun, and I need to glass something because I don't know. That looks awfully suspicious. Stick right next to a fence, so it just made it that much better. But I'm going to shut up now. We're going to go find some browns. Well, Austin and I glassed for about half an hour. We just split up. We made a plan. We're going to grid this the best we can. It's thicker stuff. And then we've made a rendezvous meetup point. So hopefully one of us can scoop something. It's a lot of up and down and cross little swales and back down and up. Good exercise. See if it pays off. Got the improvised tripod set up for glassing. And it actually works surprisingly well. But nothing yet. It's a good country. One would sure think there's a shed out there somewhere, so we're gonna try to find it. Austin's right behind me on the next point over glassing. I feel like it's just a matter of time before one of us turns one up. Well, we didn't glass anything up. I would have put money on that one. We're gonna move into the next valley up above where we started this morning and check that out and then maybe we'll relocate to another spot, try something new. Hasn't turned into quite the day I thought it would, but it's not too late. Here we go. First, man, I don't know. That might be a year old looking at this side. I was thinking it was a fresh one, but 
This side's pretty bleached out already. This side's got quite a bit of color left. But nice little six point. Let's see if we can go find the other side here real quick. Spot number two. We only have about a hour and a half or so before we gotta head home, or at least I do. Gotta get the kiddos tonight, so I'll try to make the most of it. Never hiked in this spot before. So going in blind. So far, just a lot of old elk sign. But we're just getting going. We'll see what we find here. Well, just laid a two and a half mile goose egg. Just about back to the truck. I'm just gonna go glass a couple ponds that we haven't really watched yet. See if there's been any elk at them anyhow. Maybe there'll be a shed laying at one of them, but either way, good exercise day. Grand total is about 10 miles. Austin found four sheds, I think, and I found that one brown. A lot quieter than what it has been, but that's part of it. I will see you the next time I get out. Hopefully it goes a little better than today. Thanks for watching. You know you got a good friend when he finds the match to one we found a few weeks ago and leaves it there and lets me pick it up even. That was against my will. Here's the good news, you're carrying that out, not me. Yeah, me too. <laughs>